Okay. 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 Uh, display capture and get you on the other side. The other display. Okay. Okay. Uh. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Yeah, I have a new headset now. That should sound a little better. And there shouldn't be any fan popping in the background. Cool, cool, cool. Because instead of buying another cheap pair, I got a more expensive pair that was on sale for the same price. So. What the fuck is going on? Should just break my headphones more. Oh, no, I mean, Craig. Craig, bye. Uh -oh. oh, fuck. Is it still broken? One sec. You tried to do pics. Mo, you're back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was trying in the other room. I wasn't sure. Maybe it's just a yeah. You probably room you probably don't want to just use OBS this episode anyway because um, we tried to do pixels last night and Craig was being fucking ridiculous. We had we had we had two separate recordings stop short and like it took us like eight attempts to get him in there in the first place. Oh well, I always have like a two uh two things where. Yeah, like, I'll I'd record... say we're just gonna go just go with OBS this episode because Craig is fucking ridiculous. No freak out, yeah. Which is what we probably should have done as well, and I suggested it early in the night, but we, I guess they just forgot that I suggested it and you... kept trying with the stupid bear. You done fucked it up. <laughs> oh. I think we got we got a cohesive episode out of it, but it was a uh, it was weirdly truncated. All right. Well, some malarkey. Some some malarkey, arky. The malarkey. Uh, okay. Uh. Uh. Oh, I promise not to yell. If you guys promise not to yell at me, all right. <laughs> no, I want you to yell. Uh, I don't. Oh God, I just this whole. Uh, you know what? So, Riley. How are you doing, bro? What you been up to, punk? Punk? Skunk punk punk? Oh, I've been alright. I've just been hanging around, living life. Oh, working. okay. Alright, alright. Uh, uh, did you want to talk to me about something? Are we doing the podcast now? Christ, every fucking time! You fucking destroy moments! You are a moment <laughs> killer, Riley! I'm sorry. God We're damn it. Serious. Oh. So, you like, don't make me get a sick of stereos on you. Jesus Christ. Right, redo it. Uh, okay. And three, two, one. So, Riley, how you doing, man? What you been up to, man? Uh, not, not much, bro. Uh, just hanging around, living life. How about you? How about yourself? Oh, just, uh, uh just losing my shit. Lose my fucking shit. Can't fucking stand it. Just, uh, you know, if there was ever a time to set the world on fucking fire, I think it would be now, you know? It's like a good time to just fucking pour the gas, light the match, and fucking burn it, right? Other than that, how are you I doing? Think I, I Hope you're doing, bro. I might disagree with you there. Oh, no. Time to put no. the fire out. Oh, no, no, no. Now put it's the like four a four year long fire out. No, no, no. We, we, we gotta, like, uh, prep against you know you know the the, the fucking next four year fire that's about to there's going to be a lot of stupid uh going out but but anyway we'll save that for in a moment uh riley you had something you wanted to say to me oh yes um now mo yes i am i am one who does not usually agree with the blocking of the funny troll people uh-huh and, yeah, unless they're um, not funny and they're fucking lame as shit, and okay, I hope that, yeah. good, and good you know, if any, you. and if any, and if any fucking unfunny douchebag trolls happen to be listening to this fucking episode, you get what you fucking deserve. That's all I have to say. <laughs> you get what you fucking now. Um, I love you, Mo uh, posted about our new episode. It's coming out, coming out real soon, or it's mm -hmm. already out now. And um, 
Cameron Clark, our old buddy, our old, good our old brother, old buddy, <laughs> old buddy, our good friend. He um, he gave a little bit of a sarcastic response because, as we all know, he has um, doesn't really like that Ace Riley individual very much. Yeah, or I can did only he... post on Twitter when he has something to say about Riley. Or fucking and, now, um, Digi. Later, later that day, uh, I was tagged in the Dickheads podcast Discord, oh. and Cameron Clark was showing me that Mo Diggity had blocked him on Twitter. Uh huh. Hey, you, what, what about the, the other? I wanted to... Oh well, I like. Oh, okay. So you just got the one then. Because Wait, who'd you block else? <laughs> no, uh, he came at me with all of his fucking alt accounts, man. Uh, it was like oh, alt right, yeah, like alt right comedian something or other something alt right. Oh, I didn't see that. Uh, yeah, I, yeah. I just saw that you blocked Cameron Clark. Yeah, he came at me with I guess his main accounts, his other Cameron Clark accounts, and then his fucking little he uh, the top dickhead. Yeah, uh, something like that. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> and uh, isn't that so? Uh, no, not not a. T- no TDS top dickhead. Uh, I don't think I blocked him. I have oh, no, no reason to block yeah, him. Yeah, I think he's alright. But yeah, Cameron fucking cut, came at me like, dude. Honestly, after uh, uh after the little ambush fucking interview, like, you know what? I don't have time for that shit. And honestly, if like if all it takes. To totally fucking turn on like someone who's been nothing but kind to you, or not even kind, just fucking nice, and never fucking started shit with you or like anything like that. If you're just gonna be a fucking dick, like dude, I've got enough on my plate right now. I I don't have time for that shit. I mean, if you're just gonna be a fucking asshole to me, like why? What the fuck am I even bothering uh, with that? So fuck him. If he's just gonna be like out and out dick, and I'm just gonna have to hear Mariley's. The bad, uh, Digi bro, uh, like no, nah, I've got other things to do. Pass, next, you know that. That's all I have to say. Yeah, I mean, I think we've both been annoyed with Cameron Clark as of late, but you know what? I have way too much tolerance for people, and I still, I still think he's fine. He's okay. Well, okay, so like, if I can. Uh, give you a most explanation, or maybe I can, okay. mo- or maybe I can most explain uh, that tolerance yeah, to you. Good, See, uh, put out this clip from the podcast as a most explaining episode. Okay, good, 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 good. Um, your your fucking tolerance for people and their bullshit's gonna be just whittled away uh, as you get older, and you're gonna find that the, the shit that stupid people fucking do to annoy you. You, you 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 sort of look past like you know oh that's funny or so cute and like you're going to end up like uh just not suffering that bullshit anymore man and sometimes it's funny and i like it i think sometimes, the kind of but, thing with like yeah. cameron clark and like it happens to me in real life too like at school and shit is like i think like people will try to fucking bully me and i'll just be like friendly about it and they'll just be like endeared by the fact that i'm not spurging and they'll grow to like me in a strange way and I think that's what ha- what's happened with Cameron Clark and shit, where, like, he still doesn't hate me despite him hating everyone around me. Well, like, fucking A, you know? Like, I think the thing that really pissed me off was the, uh, uh, the, the one minor thing you didn't, that he didn't like or agreed with. And then, boom, fucking turned on a dime for, like, you know, and just, like, lump me in with all the other people he fucking hates. Like, dude, what the fuck did I ever do to you, man? So, if that's the way he's going to act, fine. I can be just as petty. I don't have I, to I be. I mean, but... yeah, I understand. Oh, well. I understand why you totally. did it. I just wanted to. I just wanted to hear the mo the mo address about blocking. About well, blocking like, people. I don't. I don't. I don't want to like block people like all the time. I just really, it's just if you like try to like piss me off deliberately over and over again and it's not funny and it's the same old shit over and over again and fucking Cameron fucking fit all those parameters so if he's just going to do that fine fuck him man and let him cry about it he doesn't, he doesn't like the people around me out. either I, mean, I think we're still on good terms despite well, that anyway because I was doing a podcast with Riley and you know Cameron would consistently comment on stuff and it's just like 
he's, he's never saying anything bad about me. And, like, Riley and him go back and forth at each other. And it's like, you guys do your own thing. I'm, I, you know, I talk to you both. Well, right, right, right. I mean, not every... Like, I'll go do my podcast with Riley, and then I'll go on the Cameron Clark show, and we'll we'll sing about love. Yeah. I miss the Cameron Clark show. When is the Cameron Clark show coming back? It used to be Isn't fine. It? Yeah, you know, I used to fucking love doing that. Like, I, I love the like, circle. Fuck the dickhead podcast. I want the Cameron Clark show back. Oh, it used to be a lot of fun. You know, I think the second episode, I lost my shit on, I think it was uh, Get Stabbed or Ghost or whatever his name is. Dude, was a oh, fucking... yeah, Get Stabbed. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, Yo, dude, that was... I haven't heard from that guy in so long. I miss Get Stabbed because that was funny. Dude, that was one of my favorite times. It's just like losing my fucking shit. Crippled Jesus fucking bagging on me a little bit because I just kept telling Ghost to put a dick in his mouth and all this other shit. Like, I had a fucking great time on the camera. Remember, Clark when, we show. All got, remember when we all got along? Remember when CJ got along with Cameron Clark? Remember when we got along with Cameron Clark? Oh, remember, remember when we were just all fucking holding hands and dancing? Oh, that was a good time. Remember? I remember. I, I remember when Asterios was on the dick show, you know? And, you know, I remember when oh, fucking... Oh, the times that I, I miss. I, I, remember I, when... I remember when fucking Pete's Saliva was on the dick show all the time and, and, and instead of, like, only every every once in a while and and all that. I I miss, like, when our when a lot of the communities that we all just chilled in weren't so... Oh, God, I can't believe I'm actually saying this, but absolutely fucking, like, shit-eating toxic fucking people. And it used to be, it used to be fine, but God, now and there's no cure for it. There's no cure for it. it. It'll never go away. It's just the human condition. It really started about four years ago, I would say. I'd say about oh, the Great around, Division. I think that no, I think well, okay. It seems our nation was split over a great event. Well, I know, right? It's almost like every the since nation the year was two... split over Mo blocking Cameron Clark. The whole oh, the, oh, yeah. United States of America oh, was yeah. so divided. Well, I, I personally think the Great Division started in the year two thousand when the first of uh, several other elections were stolen in America, and were decided in the Supreme Court. Which, you know what? Let's go ahead and start the show, shall we? Fuck yes, let's do it. All right. Okay. A, a one, a two, a skiddly diddly do. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the MoCast. I'm your host, Mo Diggity. How you doing? Uh, we are back, and uh, we are going to talk about the the goddamn election. And you know, Whoa. I'm not. Uh, Whoa. I just I don't want to do this anymore. Uh, let's let's talk me. about puppies instead. Yeah, no, no. You, you know what? I I fucking straight up the like election election day night. I guess uh, election day night after all the fucking stupid shit started just started getting paused, I had to fucking go and look up this uh, this Twitter picture uh, this uh, Twitter account where it had nothing but like dogs, you know, like dogs talking and just being cute. And I sat there for about half an hour getting my fucking blood pressure down so I can function and actually, uh, you know. Get shit fucking done. But anyway, with me as always is Riley Brooks. Say what's up, Riley. Hello, I'm here. It's me, Riley Brooks. I'm a boy, and oh. I like playing with my toy. Uh, okay, that, that, that's. <laughs> I I don't know why that's weird, but whatever, man. You, you do you. And of course, uh, with me is Robin. Say what's up, Robin. Hello, I'm out here hooting and the hollering. I'm I'm riding with with someone. Ugh. Riding with some particular <laughs> individual. individual. Uh, I wonder who that person could be, and if, if I would just fucking. Just, ooh, Holy shit! Disgusting. Hold on, I, I have something really brief to tell you. Something funny about the election. Oh okay. So, oh, did Trump win they, already? They, they, and this was just a bad nightmare. <laughs> no, they obviously told us that we weren't allowed to talk about politics at work. Mm -hmm. Like we weren't trying to argue over politics, but me and my friends were actually trying to have like a legitimate discussion about it. And they, like they were like, "No, you can't do that." So like, what my friend Brian started doing was like, he just started <laughs> he started talking about um like farm crops, and, like <laughs> like he used farm crops as an analogy for the election. Like he was talking about orange crops for Trump and potato crops for Biden. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> it was really funny. Uh, so yeah, the, the the potato the potatoes crops and the orange crops had their uh, competition. Who won? Hmm. Yeah, the orange crops. Something's just been growing wrong with them lately. They just they taste real salty. No, there was like no, there was like there was many more of the orange crop there was, than there was the other crop, whatever that crop was. Uh, potato you know, crop. It no, was the, fine. Well, the oh, just suddenly crop... the, the, the the suddenly suddenly the the orange crop just started getting harvested uh, much earlier uh, by like you know Fox Farm whatever or whatever the analogy for fucking Fox News is. Fucking no, there were, stupid. There were many potato crops just, just planted well before the counts even started on the crops. Oh yeah, 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 they just happened to show up like you know, like without without any any fucking further notice or anything. And no, they had, they just, had been there for a while. They've been there for it's yeah, just, they've been for a count, while. Like, you always count those ones last. Well, yeah, you, you know those. It has no. It's to, been for many years. I know it, but it's not like you know any of those fucking uh, uh, crops were. You know, made or harvested before the election and stored just in case this one came through. You know, for this harvest, I should say. But uh, yeah. So let's go ahead and just start with the one that really pisses me off. Uh, this can all be boiled down to the the very first huge fuck up of the evening, and 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 that that's because of Fox News. Fox News pulled. I I think it was a CNN like what CNN I think did. Back in the early, back in the year 2000, with the Bush v. Gore uh, election, right? Uh, CNN called the uh, called a state, and thus call well, and thus called the election too fucking soon, and that's what Fox News did with Arizona, and after that uh, shitstorm, it's like all the other fucking dominoes just started falling, and there was just one huge mistake or or, or fuck up after another and honestly it gives me cause to scream out fuck fox news once again and i guess that makes me happy because now we do get to revisit like the old school shit of my of my youth you know just saying fuck them again because they they've really gotten uh they've really gotten sort of like underneath everything you know no one really talks about fox news anymore it's usually just cnn or or some uh news outlet online like uh uh, Mother Jones or something, you know. Oh, as soon as soon as the election was called, they started posting pro Biden shit. Wait, oh, what what spineless little fuck! Like... Yeah, that's the fucking crazy thing. And I said this on Twitter. I can't believe I live in a fucking day and age where fucking Fox News is sucking up to a a a, a, a Democratic candidate. Never fucking thought I'd ever Holy see that again shit, for insane. almost like 25. Like it was quite a long time since uh, uh, Fox has ever been kind to any kind of leftist whatsoever. And yeah, they've got Tucker Carlson, but Tucker Carlson uh, circles the wagons just like anyone else. Like he told everyone to get off of Hunter Biden's back when that was all happening. It was like, dude, you're supposed to be the opposition here, man. There's no time to to be like merciful. Like, if you really want to think about it, the people who really lost this election for Trump seem to be like his supporters and the Republican Party, because they just don't want they they don't feel like fucking fighting. And if you look back in presidential history for all like or even gubernatorial or senatorial uh, just races in general, the Republican candidate rarely ever fights back and uh this this uh election i feel is a reflection of that oh fuck it i don't want to do it anymore i want to go home and i want my mommy wah 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 and it's fucking inexcusable it's fucking uh, just ridiculous how like they just quit like nah i just don't feel like it yeah it's like dude it's it's a republican president I, I don't care. He's he keeps giving you guys everything you want. Like, why are you being like this? It's just. Oh yeah, I'm sure he'll strip away some more rights as he makes his way out of there. I don't think he stripped away any rights at all. So, I mean, yeah. So anyway. So uh, yeah. So I just got done watch. Have you guys watched the 
acceptance speech by Biden before we started. I think right as that ended, I think we were starting. I couldn't to... find it. I tried to look for it, and all I saw was live streams. But I'm like, I just want to see the speech, dude. Like, I need it. I watched the majority of it. Uh, I, I skipped Kamala Harris's because I, I just find her very... Yeah, I did as well. I find her very unpleasant, and I'm not a huge no, fan of her politics at all. I mean... Our future president, when Joe Biden appears mysteriously dead within the next couple months... Oh, the uh, fucking uh, 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 what's his name? The Scottish fucking guy, Count Dankula. Count Dankula. <laughs> yeah, fucking, I saw that. Yeah, yeah. He he shared this picture of uh, Kamala Harris and Joe Biden, and Kamala is like pushing Joe in his wheelchair, and it's over a fucking sunny cliff, you know, a nice little canyon, and he says. We made it, Kamala. We finally made it to the White House. The next frame is Kamala fucking dumping him over the fucking side. <laughs> That's yeah. pretty much what's going to happen. Honestly, I'm surprised that, you know, uh, something happened uh, to Biden during the fucking speech. And then Kamala Harris fucking would just jump right in. You know, I'm kind of I'm kind of surprised. But then again, I don't put anything past those people. At least that party, anyway. But, yeah. Uh, so, enough of my negativity and and blickety-black pill stuff. Uh, Riley, what do you Sucks. think... What do you think a Joe Biden presidency is going to look like the first 90 days? Uh, I don't know how much he's going to get done in the first 90 days. You see... I don't really know a lot about the presidential process. What the fuck is going on? Am I, am I echoing? Is that what was happening? Oh, there was some noise. Yeah, I think I'm echoing. Hang on. After I rejoined. Mark that down, Mo. Oh, uh, yeah, definitely. <sighs> Say something? Oh, something? Hello, hello. hello? That's better. I don't know why I did that. Okay, yeah, it's no problem. I'll edit it out. But yeah, you know, uh, uh, so uh, you were you were saying something, Riley? Yeah, I just I don't really know much about the presidential process. Like I've never really gone into the weeds of like politics and how it all works. Like literally, I know you're gonna give me guff for this mo and be like, <laughs> you should research more. But like literally, all of my fucking political positioning is based on me taking like a fucking two hundred question tests. And it being oh. and it being like here's the candidate to match you, and it's like okay. every fucking Democrat. Uh, all, all right, all right, buddy, you do gotta research a lot better than that. All right, it's it's only be and not to shame you, not to shame you or anything. At least you are doing much more than the average American voter has ever done in the history of voting in this fucking country. At least you fucking did something. Most people don't. They just uh, vote straight ticket left or right, independent, left to center, whatever, uh, and just they are done with it. They never look at the ballot initiatives or uh, the rising cost taxes, yada, yada, yada. At least you're you're doing something. So I'll definitely give you that. But, you know, I, I think you should, as the years go by, expand your, uh, your, your knowledge of the political uh, process a little bit more, especially when we're coming into, uh, uh, coming off of a, a Trump presidency, into a Biden presidency, and everyone's sort of speculating how that's going to look during the transfer. So, uh, what would you hope to? What What would you like to see during the, at least the first ninety days? Do you have any ideas at all, or what would you like to see him do personally? In okay. terms of border control, like I've always been pretty much like fucking open them up, fucking open the floodgates. Oh Jesus Christ! Fucking why? That that would like be a really bad idea. Because fucking, I just think that people who are being super shitty about like immigrants are just kind of being assholes. Like, what the fuck ever? They oh, they have a hard time in their country. They fucking come here. That was the whole point of fucking this. We're a fucking well, yeah. we're an open country. Yeah. Well, we need to. We're helping people fucking live. Yeah, but we we do have sort of you know a finite amount of jobs and and places to put everybody. 
I mean, if we start like clear cutting the forest and stuff, that's oh, gonna I don't have mean, a really, I don't I mean, mean really... we're talking about room. We're talking about like a lot of things that are actual, you know, should be actual concerns for everybody, regardless. I say open of the floodgates. Whatever. I don't really mean like full open borders. I just mean like the the border process they have now is just a little too much. I think they could tone it down a little bit. Like I've heard, I've heard shit about like how intense like the test is for citizenship and like how how crazy that all is. So I feel like that should just be toned down like just a little bit. Okay, maybe and, make like, the path to citizenship a little bit easier then. A little bit easier, and like the people who are already here, like the illegal immigrants who are already here, them getting like separated from their children and shit. That should stop. That should stop immediately. That's bureaucracy, though. You're never going to get rid of that. That's an unfortunate thing. That was a fucking lie that sold to y'all on the Biden camp because uh, uh, the, the stupid photo op with AOC where she's pretending that she's actually feel has feelings uh, for the people at the border. It's just, it was just a photo op, by the way. There, there's no sincerity in that. Anyway, um, no, that that's all bureaucracy. Unless you uh, scrape the government completely and start from scratch and build another one. Uh, there, there's no getting rid of that because it's absolutely impossible. I mean, you would have to. Uh, th there's just no way that you can even executive order, uh, uh, I guess, immigration reform, because it's it's like a it's like a fucking maze within a maze within another really awful maze, and there's just no way you're going to get out of it, because it, we we've perp all, all countries everywhere, our country, Canada, Mexico. We've purposefully made immigration extremely complicated, and yeah. we can do some surface level stuff, but it would take for for us to truly reform it. We would have to have a, a series of presidents and and uh, senates and and congressional, you know, Congress people. We'd have to have a set government for a few decades to cut a swath through all the bureaucratic red tape to even possibly uh, look at the idea of reforming it. And that that's how bad it truly is. Yeah, I mean, it just sucks, honestly. It's, it's, it's a hard issue to pin down, you know. And as for gun control, you had mentioned gun control as well. I think that's one of my things that like doesn't fully lean to the liberal side. I'm all for people having guns, really. Even though I feel like my opinion swings on that's that. That's the far like, left opinion. Is it? Yeah. Far I thought it was the, the right that wanted get... all the guns. No. Once you go far enough left, you get your guns back. <laughs> well, okay. true, but you have to go through a lot of shit to get to... Uh... To hey, we get guns again on the left. But I side, feel like I, I feel like my opinion switches on the guns a lot. A lot. Like I feel like I've definitely said on record before that like, why do we even need guns at all? And then like, it's you a great know, equalizer. I'll be like, I'll be like, oh, this is why we need guns. Um, yeah, it, keep those. Yeah, it's like every <laughs> single time you're like, you know what? This is such a great society and a beautiful day. Why do we even need guns? Give me your keys to your car, motherfucker. Oh, that's why we need guns. Shit. <laughs> that's pretty Fuck. much how it is. So, uh, all right, all right, all right. Uh, we'll come back to you in a little bit, Robin. Uh, would you, uh, uh, what What would you like to see in the first 90 days of a Biden-Harris administration? What would you like to see him do on day one? On day one? Yeah, sure, on, on day one, because I, I know you're you're super, super into this like I am. Well, on day one, I'd like to see him actually get inaugurated. That'd be cool. Uh, you know, hopefully Trump doesn't just fully initiate a coup and refuse to leave the White House. I want to see. Oh, my God, I want to see this so bad. Like, I don't have a lot of malice towards, like, the Trump administration, like, whatever they lost. There's a non-zero chance that's going to happen. No. Yeah, there. I want to see Donald Trump get fucking escorted out of the White House by the goddamn police. That would be so funny. Everyone I need to see it. I hate to tell you guys this, but every single election, 
this goes through like with Bush to Obama. Will he leave the White House when it was Obama to Trump? Will Obama leave the White House? And like fucking nothing ever happens. But they never said that though. Trump has said on record. No, he no, he has not gonna leave. You know, he he's never said that he's not gonna leave. He's fucking no, no other president has pulled as big a hissy fit as as this man is pulling right now. Well, like I really, really doubt that anything like that will ever happen. He's just trying to rile up his base and get them out in the streets so they'll protest, and so they can get another right. recount on a lot of these things. So they're not going to riot. Riot's a leftist thing. I'm sorry, but we've seen like hundreds of they're thousands. They're going to riot. No, they're not. You see, there's like one thing about the right wingers, no, it's, hundred... the hypocris- it's the hypocritical part of them. They will, they're they're going to be rioting. There won't. There hasn't been any riots in almost two to three days, and hundreds of thousands of right wingers have been in the streets, kneeling and praying, and just getting along with each other. Not one Starbucks has been burnt down yet. Not one church has been violated. Uh, I mean, it's kneeling in prayer and, and speaking through megaphones. I mean that's that's literally it. I'm, I'm I hate to uh, like pardon me while I say this, but this seems to be like an inherent leftist uh, uh, ideal is to riot and loot and pillage. But oh yeah, they, they wouldn't they wouldn't loot and pillage not from their uh, all American businesses. Goodness, no, and they'd never harm their uh, their police force. I uh, yeah, I I really doubt that that would even happen. Like I don't see Trump supporters. But they could do whatever they want. Like the police aren't going to stop them. Well, they have no reason to stop them so far. Anyone that's gotten uh, a little like a uh, weird and saucy or whatever, like that that fucking beer barbecue and Trump or God barbecue and Trump guy or whatever, that's about the weirdest it's gonna get from the right. I mean, we're not gonna get like the uh, the the chick at, at during the inauguration when he's like he's confirmed to be president of the United States, and she goes no. <laughs> no. uh, yeah, I, I don't think we're going to have like a right winger equivalent to that. Like, if anything, they'll probably all just stay home like they usually do. The right's really not known for protesting too terribly much. Like, y- you got the the Tea Party and right now, but like I can personally go like, and I've been in a lot of these groups. I can personally go back from like you know, you know, nineteen from the nineteen nineties and probably even the eighties till like now, it's like mostly liberals and leftists who are like out there protesting. Not that that's a bad thing, and I'm really happy that they're doing so because that's a huge part of freedom of speech. But uh, yeah, I'm saying there's I think two kinds of protester though on the right and the left politically. But uh, all right, so uh, in- inauguration and, and then uh. What else would you like to see during the like the, his first ninety days? Yeah, first ninety days. Um, he's already made one promise that he said he would do within ninety, like one hundred or ninety days, something like that. Was um, was actually pretty close to what Riley said. I mean, not as extreme as like opening the borders, but you know, getting rid of the the Trump concentration camps, getting immigration oh, back up and running. The, the 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 concentration camps that Obama and Biden built, those ones. Yes. Okay, well, I mean, I don't yes. know why they got the. Tr- I don't know why it's labeled the Trump concentration camps. You know, I've been see, I've been hearing that well, lie because they all have, throughout. Because they have legal asylum seekers put into the concentration camps. Uh, I I don't really like these. It, these who, aren't like illegal, like people's people trying to jump the border. I mean, some might be, but these are like asylum seekers who are coming and trying to declare asylum and being grabbed before they can even get to a building where they can legally do so and then separated from their family see that's that's another big reason why immigration reform will never happen because that's a part of the bureaucracy right there like there's people getting fucking mixed up all the time and that's that's why like i don't have any faith in the uh immigration reform types you know but anyway all right so uh and of course protection for the, the the daca kids and the dreamers all right all right because I mean, legally they they should be here. They shouldn't be kicked out of our country. They they were born here. You know, people who were born here are getting kicked out as well. Yeah, the DACA kids. I I don't uh, I don't know if that's yeah. Trump legal, wanted those actually. kids gone too. Yeah, he's never going to get that because once you're born here, you're well, legally. Well, he was he was starting. Uh, he was starting, but like I I know that the Republicans even put a stop to that. No, <laughs> no one's going to do that. Pardon me. <laughs> It was it was because Ob- Obama had done it and he didn't like it. Uh, 
Uh, the other thing, obviously, I want to see within 90 days is uh, we can finally see some some pro science going on here. We can start curbing coronavirus a little better. No, fuck no. you. Shut yep. up. I, I don't think yep. that's going to. I think what I, I personally think that what you got right now is what you're going to have under a Biden administration. There's not going to be any difference. I don't think we're any any further along finding a cure than, you know, we're just, it's not, not much is going to happen. No, but, this but it way. definitely does help to have, you know, the leader of the United States, you know, saying that the, you know, that masks help. No, fuck this shit. That's the one thing that made me fucking be like, uh, about Biden was the fucking lockdown shit, the fucking Corona shit. Well, you probably didn't want... People, my fellow liberals probably didn't even want me in that voting office because then some Trump supporter would get in my ear and be like, he's going to get the lockdown again, and I would have checked that Trump box. <laughs> no, I, I, he won't even go that extreme with it. He's, he's a liberal, not a, not a lefty. He's not, he's not yeah. going like, to lock it completely down. He, he wants businesses to run. Uh, but with Kamala Harris, who basically hates fucking America and Americans, uh, I, I, I think that she'll get into his ear and he'll think that he's doing the right thing. And I mean, another lockdown like we had and this this economy, this country is going bye bye. It's crashing. Uh, there's nothing really that we have on the uh, like we have no idea whether or not we're getting another stimulus check, whether or not uh, unemployment's going to be uh, uh, pumped back up again, uh, whether or not people are going to get help and 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 uh uh, protections from being evicted because like that brings up a seen... very good other point is that i would like to uh to see him start uh stimulus talks again once he's in office oh my god well, there's I... this dude who like my mom has been following the whole like stimulus check shit she keeps watching updates from this guy who's like my the best way to describe him is ben shapiro but without the awkward charm he has a very strange voice and he's just talking about how the fucking Stimulus check is just this back and forth cold war between the Democrats and the Republicans. Well, hopefully, like Trump before he leaves office, just executive orders fucking stimulus checks, because like yeah, it, I mean, they'll, they'll take they'll take one. Trump, he's not out till January. Yeah, he can do some stuff in two yeah. months. And I love how all the assholes on Twitter are like arrest, like Keith Olbermann, arrest him, arrest him now, escort him out of the out of the White House. Like, dude, who the fuck do you think is still president, man? Like he's not he's not done he's president until the January twenty first. Yeah, like the yeah. Dude, the fucking AOCs of the world like do not understand how democracy works. They honestly don't. It sh it frightens me that AOC got reelected. It frightens me that Keith Olbermann is still pretending that he's relevant and that he knows what the fuck he's talking about. It's just absolutely batshit. Like the 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 full mask off from from this has been like dude you see where the fascists really fucking are and like you we're surrounded by them that's yeah the why... masks really came off like when when the president of the united states says he wants people to like he just wants to cut off all voting Oof. no he didn't say that that's, either he was trying fascism. no he was trying he was trying to stop the all the illegal fucking uh ballots that were showing up i mean for god's sake they, these people they, they these just were legal ballots uh, I, I don't think that i think if we get a recount that's going to tell a different story uh, in my just mail in ballots uh, and absentee votes it's something it doesn't smell right about this whole freaking thing there's too many there's too Do much you want to know his on. main basis for thinking it doesn't smell right well what the, the mail in ballots ballots were almost entirely for biden do you want to yeah. know why they were almost entirely for biden well because they were printed and made just for this occasion no because trump consistently told his voter base that mail-in ballots were bad and nobody should ever do them <laughs> so of course I'm, they're all I'm biden still, votes. i mean it's just, it, that, that, i mean that there's that that doesn't make can you me, can you imagine how many like senile trump supporters who normally would put in like an absentee or mail-in ballot I don't know if he was didn't really, do it this time. I just don't. I just don't know. He told his voters not to do it. I just don't know if Trump was really that effective on them, though. I, I think there was plenty of like old people and like you know the senile, uh, you know, uh, old people. There you were know. some. You could see. You could see him ticking up somewhat during the mail-in counting. But, but it's it's absolutely fucking insane. Of course, how, it's a majority Biden. Yeah, but it's absolutely insane how how like almost all of the uh, mail-in ballots 
you know, were just strangely enough uh, just almost entirely exclusively for Biden. Like, that's unprecedented. There, and that's really, hold on, wait, 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 wait. I hope that gets rectified. Yeah, I, there's something weird going on. That's just, statistically, that's almost fucking impossible. Like, like to not have at least 10% at the very least 10% of those types of ballots, not be for the opponent. It just sounds really, really suspicious that every single state he that... He consistently told people not to do that. Of course I don't they're think, not going to be I for just him. don't think people really listen to the president that much, you know? It was his main talking point for the past three months leading up to the election, was how mail-in voting is bad. Look, I, mean, I, I, I honestly... I, all the stuff I've read, I do believe there actually might be some fraud at foot. I don't know if it's enough for Biden to have not actually won anyway. And, and there, there is oh, some it's fraud nowhere afoot, close. And I hope it, there is some fraud afoot, and I hope they at least rectify it because I don't want to. I don't want to win by cheating, to be honest. No, I there, really there's don't. always some fraud happening every election, but it, it, the amount of fraud is within the hundreds, well, like. Not even it, close to enough to affect the votes in any part uh, of the state. I, I gotta disagree. I think it's I think it's in the hundreds of thousands. I think this is based major. on what? I hundreds think this, of thousands. Because based on the fact that you know, statistically speaking, all of the mail-in ballots are almost exclusively for Biden. How there's a by how there have been people at the fucking uh, uh, polling places or at the vote counting places fucking with the ballots. Uh, 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 there's been uh, inconsistencies with the counting in, in several counties, including uh, Nevada and fucking Pennsylvania and Georgia, which is fucking weird. How Georgia would ever flip blue? I mean, that's that's kind of. I I've just never really seen. They're all swing states. I, I've never really seen Georgia ever flip blue though before. Well, we're like, having a record number of of young people voting, which is awesome. Yeah, it's um, it's awesome. It's awesome, and because that's what skewed the polls so heavily in the in the twenty sixteen election towards Hillary. Whenever when all the projections said that Hillary was going to win, the the problem was all the polling they were doing. The young people were going, "Yeah, we're voting Hillary. We're voting Hillary. We're voting Hillary," and then they didn't go out and vote. Yeah, they also fucked that up for Bernie as well. I think this whole fucking thing would have been a lot less contentious. Well, that's the DNC. I think this whole thing would be a lot less contentious if it were Bernie Sanders up there. and Because, like, this, you know, this would be believable if it were Bernie up there. Or even, like, maybe somebody else other than Kamala Harris and Joe Biden. I, I, I just look at the two of them. And you know, looking at the uh, the abysmal uh, draws at, at, at uh, J uh, Joe Biden's fucking uh, uh, campaigning events, where there's like pretty much nothing but freaking staffers and people that they bust in from other counties to help fill the states, and and then you you cut away to to Trump, and he's it's it's basically like the '80s again, and hair metal's fucking back. There's just like arena with hundreds of that, like tens of thousands of people. Who are there? I'm like, dude, something just doesn't feel right here. You know, like I'm looking at the numbers from one side and then the other, and I'm seeing more on one side than I do the other. But the other's the one that won, and that just doesn't like optically speaking. This doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. It it, it, it tickles my sus bone. What do you mean you you're know? seeing? What do you mean you're seeing more numbers on the? the well, I, I see more people publicly coming out voting and, um, and supporting Trump than I ever have Biden. I mean, even during my cross country trip going to uh, going to Kentucky, I might have seen like five, maybe six Biden signs, but like hundreds of fucking Trump signs, and that that was going like even like sort of. Uh, uh, north of the south, so so to speak, like you would expect. The more house, there's what? a house near me that has a Biden sign up, and they also have a sign up that says like "fucking jail Trump." Oh, like, that's they, so fucking stupid. They keep stupid. adding more signs. They keep adding more signs. Like I remember, I walked by there, and there was a Biden sign. Like one day, and then like a month later, I walked by there, and that Biden sign's still there, and they've added a new sign that says "fucking jail Trump." Yeah, I've I've got really fucking bad news for all those people who think that uh Trump's going to jail for anything or something. Presidents don't go to jail. They never have, they never will. If Nixon didn't get freaking thrown in jail for all the shit that he did, 
Trump's not going to jail because, well, Trump hasn't done anything illegal. Like at most, like people could say it was distasteful and I didn't like it. Bad optics. Boo. But there's fuck all that he's held on. But but he, he hasn't actually done anything illegal. Like Anthony Weiner did something illegal. Uh, fucking uh, what's his name? The uh, uh, not Scaramouche. Fa- uh, fuck. Uh, back in two thousand eight, there was I think it was a New Jersey uh, 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 senator or mayor or governor or whatever. Uh, he got thrown in jail uh, for trying to sell uh Obama's seat. I think it was in the 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 Senate. What wasn't he a senator or was he a congressman? Does anyone know? Because I don't remember off the top of my head. Um, I don't know. I do not know. All right. Well, well. Anyway, it was it was Obama became president. He was having to leave his seat. And this guy was busted trying to sell Obama's uh, seat, and he went to jail. And there was another guy during the Bush administration days where he got caught up in some fuckery. His ass went to jail. Of course, like all freaking politicians, uh, uh. I think him and the guy from New Jersey, I believe it was New Jersey, uh, they both came back and they were given good cushy jobs because the 1% always protects the 1%. And uh, I, I forgot where I, oh yeah, I was almost forgot where I was going with this. Yeah, but uh, if, if Nixon never went to jail uh, and, and fucking Bush uh, never went to jail and Obama never went to jail for killing American citizens through drone strikes, I mean... There's no chance in hell fucking Trump's going to jail. That's that's a that's a fantasy. I think. Well, when Trump happen. loses his presidential immunity, there there are, I think, over a dozen investigations and also civil suits waiting on him. No, uh, nothing will happen. I'm sorry, nothing ever, nothing really ever happens. I, mean, I I mean, some of it is some of it is small stuff that that he could easily get charged for, like stuff in, like just involving like his business practices before he was even the president. Uh, if he didn't go down th- then back then, he's not going to go down now. I mean, well, he didn't Trump have as been... tight of an eye on him back then. Uh, well, like I, I, well, okay, yeah, I, I, I guess I agree on that. But I, I think that if Trump didn't go back, if Trump never went down in the '80s for the shit that he pulled, I don't think he's going down nowadays for any of the backlogs of shit that he's ever pulled. And honestly, he's so absolutely fantastically wealthy he'll probably end up just jumping on a jet go to a non-extradition treaty country and just stay there i mean the 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 one percent the the ultra rich and the wealthy they'll always buy their justice and i mean if if uh what's his name the he's not founder? that rich in terms of like liquidated money though i i i think he's got more his than money's enough in, like, i think he's got more than enough assets I know, I understand that. I think he's got more than enough, though. I mean, he doesn't have the kind of money to just jump ship and leave. Oh, I I think so. I think after somewhere. I I think after. Okay, so in my opinion, I think anything after ten million bucks, you pretty much can just buy yourself a new life a hundred times over. Like I I don't, I don't think that he's, I don't think he's in any trouble. Like, cause he wouldn't, he would be sweating a lot more. (laughs) <laughs> he wouldn't be golfing. <laughs> That's for fucking sure. He wouldn't be on the fucking links right now. He wouldn't be on the golf course right now, chilling out and officiating a wedding and having a good old time. It's like, nah, you would be fucking sweating, probably having about three fucking heart attacks. Oh, God. Sweating bullets. <laughs> but yeah, speaking of corrupt scumbag politicians going to jail, didn't Trump promise he was going to put Hillary in fucking jail? That never happened. Yeah, it never happened. There, that happens all the time. There's always a big hubble up for every president and goes, blah, 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 injustice, blah, blah, blah. The last administration, oh, pff, I didn't really mean it. Don't worry about it. I mean, that's just like par for the course, I think. That and Hillary, I mean, some, some days she looks good. Some days she looks like she's about to keel over and... I think if someone's about to die and you know they're about to die, it's like, oh, just leave them alone. I, I, I'm not really a big proponent of letting people die in jail. But anyway, uh, all right, so let's see. We're on the 50-minute mark. Uh, 
Hold on one sec. Pause. Man, I've been uh really into these new drinks, uh, the Ozarka sparkling water, and uh, uh, they they've been they were really really good, but they've been giving me freaking burps and you know just burpy gas like fucking crazy. <laughs> Man, I just uh. All right, so I'll be honest with you. I don't know what I'm going to be expecting from the first 90 days of uh, Joe Biden. I kind of look at his work back in the Obama administration, and then I look at what the Obama administration really did in terms of actually doing things. That, all right, and to, to qualify that, to, to clarify, um, I, I mean like things that like he would pledge to do not stuff that Congress or the House gave him to sign. Like, you know, now I, I don't think you really get credit for that. That was someone else's job, and you're just here to make it official, you know? But, like, mm -hmm. I, I, don't, I don't really see, like, the things that they, that they say are, are fucking impossible, you know? I mean, and I think I know Biden's promises off the top of my head. Well, yeah, it's the climate change stuff, systemic racism yep. stuff, green uh, energy, the green energy uh, stuff. Uh, yeah, federal minimum wage, um, what, improving what? testing and free testing, like getting more testing centers around the United States for coronavirus and getting it up for free testing. Um, uh, criminal justice reform. I mean, all um, all this stuff. Like, I, I hate to say this. This is healthcare. I mean the the criminal justice reform that's been a, a democratic staple for like well like what like 60 70 oh, it years never now it never oh, so so pretty much and pardon me for sounding black pilled or, or cynical or anything but criminal justice reform is fucking out of here never going to no, happen no one's more cynical of the democratic party than people who vote democrat <laughs> trust me <laughs> i'm a former democrat i'm a former progressive i just uh Got pissed off in 2000, well, 2008, I was trying to be optimistic. Then 2010 and 12, it's just like, why aren't we fucking doing anything at all? Like, And then the Mitt Romney-Obama fucking election came up. I was like, dude, all we have is the illusion of choice. This is... This is the race. Well, that was an election where they were pretty much the same person. Yeah, it was pretty much a a, a, a rage like, against machine video, like a where they just show left right winger versus a slightly right left winger. Like, and okay. yeah, neither of them were horrible scumbags, and it seems like the next two elections afterwards, they were both pretty scummy, <laughs> including I this mean, one. Joe Biden's well, not the fucking portrait of man. No, he's not. He's even like said, like I just watched these. I think yesterday. Uh, he was back in the 80s. He was talking about, well, it's uh, nice to see that someone's not corrupt. And he goes, how do you know I'm not corrupt? And then he goes on this spiel about how how <laughs> like it takes so much money to to uh, 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 to run a campaign and that you got to go to face the against a gang member with nothing but a chain. <laughs> oh god and then oh jeez you fucking derail me don't derail me because <laughs> then, yeah, then we're going to be talking about to hold me. on then we're going to be yeah. talking about fucking corn pop and i'm just going to blow my fucking brains out <laughs> oh talking about corn Bad pop and, and the kids they just like they would rub the hair on my legs and it would just go pure blonde and white and it was like dude why the fuck are you talking about this man <laughs> It's fucking weird, dude. You're weird, all right? So just don't do that anymore. Don't say that. Like, I can't imagine, like, being on the Biden fucking team and them, like, and, and going deaf from the sound of them fucking face palming whenever he says that shit. But anyway, uh... He's just a fucking... He's such grandpa energy. Like... Yeah, I mean, that's... That's kind of the reason why I don't think him or Trump or... I mean, I think we need to have an age limit. At about fifty, should be like the cutoff limit. Like if you turn fifty, there is an age limit. I I don't know. I mean, like a maximum age limit. I know what you mean. But yeah. like, if you turn fifty after you get into the White House, like I think Obama turned fifty while he was in the White House, then you get to get your like your standard two, you know, like your your standard election and re-election campaign thing. So what you on. think? You think it should be thirty-five to fifty? Yeah, I, I think those. I think in my opinion. Those are our That's most tough. 
I think th I think those are our most useful years, though. After 50, you start getting set in your ways, and you start being a lot more stubborn on stupid shit. I mean, after... Uh, okay, if the president cannot get an argument with his family over what to eat for dinner every single night for like a week, or think that he's getting uh, uh, railroaded or something... You know, maybe you get to keep it. Like, you know, if you can prove to me that you're, you're you know, you're mentally well, sure, go ahead, man. But I, I don't know, man. I, I think after that, I think you're kind of compromised. Like, I think you're too old now. Like a, a Biden, a, a Biden, Trump, and Bernie Sanders and Nancy Pelosi. I, I think a lot of these and Mitch fucking McConnell. Uh, I think all these people over like uh, 65, you know, they, they should be like sort of, uh, you know, they, they should be retired. Like Mitch McConnell should no, have Bernie won. would have been a great president. Uh, well, I mean, I, I think so. But honestly, God, I, I think this would I, I think Bernie would be my my only other old guy I would vote for. The, the I, DNC I just didn't. I don't think the DNC wanted to win this. Oh no, they they didn't want to win this at all. And they, they never knew, want to, and they knew that they, they were going to win. They just want to lose and then complain about Trump more. Well, yeah, that's, I mean, that's that's what they wanted to do. That's what that's their whole thing is. They just want to lose to a Republican and then complain. And that's a big thing now. Now that Trump's out of fucking office, who are you going to blame all society's woes on? I mean, you really can't really go ma racism or ma racism, motherfucker. Or anything else. Ma Trump, ma orange man bad. I mean, uh, Ryan Long fucking tweeted out, uh, so there goes the careers of so many fucking stand-up comedians. <laughs> I mean, what do you got now? I mean, I, th I think it would have got real bad under Trump. I don't think it would have gotten real bad around. under Trump. I, I think With him got... having the Supreme Court and all the branches, it, it would have just gotten... Well, like he doesn't even have really all the branches bad. now. I think he still has. Doesn't he still have the Senate, but the the House flipped or, or I whatever? I mean, even or, just with Supreme whatever. Court majority, we we were gonna start seeing things like like abortion, gay marriage, start banishing. Well, no, I, I I don't think gay marriage would ever like gay gay marriage isn't going to go away. I think the people who say that are just straight up lying, because there's been no evidence whatsoever that Trump well, even cares about. Well, marriage is a is a Christian institution. That's Bush saying that. Joe. Trump's never said that though. Trump, yeah, but I don't you got can't all these think people he... talking in his ear. It wouldn't have been his nah, choice. Trump would have been a lot is a lot smarter than that. I think he knows, like he knows what demographic to go after. Roe v. Wade was like, was going to be gone though. I I think it's still going to be gone. I I think uh, it, I, it I, may still. I hate to say this, but I think abortion is is becoming largely more and more unpopular. And despite our pro pro choice uh, sentiments and opinions. I think as uh, demographics change, I think the opinion uh, of uh, abortion is going to change. And I think Roe v. Wade will eventually be overturned. And it'll probably be overturned I, under under uh, Joe Biden's uh, presidency. I, 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 mean, I don't want to throw that at him, but I just feel the, like the that's going to happen. Of it, it, the overturning of it has nothing to do with a demographic change. The demographic change is happening in favor of pro-choice. It's just, you know, all the people in power to make decisions are old as fuck. Well, like, in terms of demographic change, I'm thinking more of immigration style because we get per primarily Hispanic and, like, a fair amount of, like, a, a Muslim and Arabic uh, people. And those, pe and those demographics, those people tend to skew toward the no abortion. I mean, like, because, uh, like, most Hispanics, most Mexicans especially, since we get mostly Mexican immigrants— most of them are are very very Catholic, and and they'll entertain the idea of uh, of voting for a, a Democrat. But I'll, there's like they do, uh, but like the 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 other half of them are like diehard conservatives. Like the 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 uh, the arrogance. I think of, it's more of a majority than you're giving them credit for. I I don't think it's as big of a majority as everyone thinks. I think that the big thing between the 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 Hispanic right and the Hispanic left. Are is the gigantic wedge of apathetic non-voter Hispanic people? Uh, the, I think that is the majority, because like a, a lot of people, they're not here to care about American politics. They're they're here to get away if from the fucking. If they're not voting, how are they getting Democrats in? 
What? If they're not voting, how are they getting Democrats in? Well, because I think that I I think that some I think sometimes one side won't really vote as much uh, or come out to vote uh, as much as the other side will come out to vote. That's, well, they've had two opportunities to vote. Why why is AOC still in? Oh, because it's in New York, and those people are fucking insane. I mean, have you? Did I mean, you the see majority the majority of her voter base is? Well, you yeah. Know, well, I mean, yeah, but Latinx, it's that's Hispanic. Oh, don't say Latinx. Ugh. That's like such a made up ass word. Like, dude, no one, no Hispanic person, be it like, you know, Cuban or Floridian or, or Mexican well, there's or a, anything, there's a difference. they'll never there is, fucking. There, there are differences between Hispanic and, and Latinx. Well, what? No, I, what? Yeah, they, they, they okay, encompass what? some of the same. They, they encompass some of the same geographic locations, but not all of the same. Okay, now I'm even more confused than when I didn't know what it was. It's like, well, it's the same, but it's also not the same. See, well, this... his... <laughs> sorry, Hispanic... I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Hispanic uh, specifically has roots in Spain, right? Well, like I think we so con- just see his... countries I... that I think countries I'm... that have roots in Spain. I, I think like, I'm... from their their origins. Oh, okay, okay. I think Americans just use Hispanic sort of as a shorthand for Mexican and for La- uh, for um, um, and more or less Cuban. Because I think like it's like you live on the coast and the Gulf Coast, you sort of see like you you see like a, a what the the positives and negatives of like the immigration and all that blah 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 happens, and you get to see more of like the opinions of, of those people. Because a lot of city folks just don't really know. Because well, a lot of people in the cities they're just they, they got their heads and they got their their heads down into their phones, and they're not really experiencing life anymore i think we've i think we're disconnecting from reality too but that's i think that's a, i think that's an episode anymore. it's all the grid it's all oh dude sometimes i have problems like thinking like maybe this is all a simulation but i i i don't think so anymore we're all fake was... except for you mo see that's the fucking thing right have you ever thought about that have you ever thought about the fact that if you don't see anyone do they really exist and when you're just uh Turning around is sort of like the graphics engine and the CPU. Is well, just that's rendering because this world was built time. all for you, Mo. Okay, well, no, I, I, I think, <laughs> dude, I, I, I think I have some, <laughs> some things to say to the fucking developers of this fucking simulation. Then, if that's the case, oh, it's all in your head. Wake up, Mo. Wake up, sheeple. Wake hmm. up, Mo. You've, you've been in, you've been in this coma for a long time. Wake up. It's like I got to get, I got to get on out of here, but. You know, all of the fucking drama, like we've all gone through on the internet, that Mo has been involved in, it was all a fucking dream. Mo made it up. This Mo's would be a, a boring for twenty years. Yeah, this is a fucking shitty dream. Like all I do is I edit videos, talk You're to people. You're in a padded room right now. Uh, watching YouTube videos and shit posting on Twitter. <laughs> uh oh man. Uh, but you know what? Uh, all right. So we're going through the campaign promises, and I think we'll go ahead and end with that. We'll, with our opinions and all that, but, um. Like like uh, uh, climate change, I, I I don't think that we have any idea how to really uh, combat that because so far every time I ask for an answer from like you know the 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 AOCs of the world and like the the jo- well not Joe Biden's but pretty much the AOCs of the world their their response uh, I, th- I think to myself all right so we're going to like clean up the the planet a little bit better pick up all this fucking trash that that makes me fucking disgusted to look at. You go to fucking any major city, it's just all disgusting garbage everywhere. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, uh, all right, we're going to pick those up, right? No. Okay, we're going to plant more well, trees then, right? No. He's, he's oh, not wait, specifically wait, wait. talking about climate change. He's talking about green energy, renewable energy. Well, like, he put climate change in there, though. He put that in there just to appease the base, I know. But, but I what, he's, what he's saying is he's going to aim for renewable energy. I think that we've been saying that for decades, and I don't think that's going to happen. Obama had a ton of a uh, a uh, 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 ton of a uh, goodwill going toward that, and he screwed it up with I think it was like Solyndra, uh, that that catastrophe, and, and no one's. It, it almost feels like the people who want renewable energy and the people who are in that industry, it almost feels like they don't have. Everything that they need to make this a reality, you know, it's uh, like, a lot of money. 
it, it's a ton of money, and I know that's like because solar of the power big would be great, but that's that's expensive. I think nuclear power would be like the wave is the wave of the future. I agree. I agree, but like everyone's too scared. <laughs> I mean, we have no real reason to be scared. I mean, like I used to think. I used what to happens be... when we have nuclear power plants, and then and then an enemy of the United States decides they want to just drop a missile on it? All right, all right. That's a good, good question. <laughs> that's a really good question. I can actually answer that. Uh, so before I worked at a nuclear power plant, I was totally uh, anti-nuclear power. Right? Like I was like, oh no, my meltdowns, my Three Mile Island, my Fukushima, and all that stuff. Right? You actually go and work for a nuclear plant. There's a ton of tests that you have to take, and you have to pass without the aid of a book. Um, there's a a ton of safety videos and procedures uh, that you have to go through. You have to learn where the exits are, where you're at at all times, and you're expected to uh, to memorize the map of the sector that you're at and either what sectors you can and cannot go to because safety reasons and and all that stuff and basically fast forward fast forward uh the way that they uh they tell it is a nuclear missile can hit one of the domes of a nuclear any american nuclear power plant and it still won't crack it uh, the the defense like uh, the, the american government has done one thing right they have reinforced uh uh, nuclear power uh, power pants, uh, power plants to basically be almost like almost impossible to crack. Like you would have to have maybe like lots of uh, nuclear uh, nuclear missiles fucking hitting it at the same time. But we we've done an impressive job. No, of I agree with you. We we have done a very impressive job of uh, fortifying the defenses for nuclear plants. And on top of that. If there were, say, like some invasion or like some hostile entity was trying to take it Infiltration. over. Yeah, some in yeah. You know, trying to infiltrate, right? Every power, every power plant has a, a, a freaking little uh, police base in there. I know because I've actually been inside and I've seen it because I wandered into the wrong uh, sector one time and basically got shit canned. It was a bummer. But yada, yada. <clears throat> Uh, that's that's aggravating, and that was a good job too. Nuclear power plant jobs are really really good, and unless like you're going into like the shit or anything like that, you're not gonna really work that hard. Unless like your pipe fi uh, fitter or something, something that Homer requires. Homer Simpson does it every day. He just eats donuts. Oh yeah, yeah, dude. That's essentially what I was doing. Just dragging water to fucking hot spots, uh, picking up trash, and stopping at every fucking smoke, uh, 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 uh smoke, se smoking section, and just fucking chilling and bumming smokes or smoking my, you know, playing on my phone. Dude, it was a fucking cush ass job, man. It was fucking great. But yeah, but they, I wasn't they have... actually asking the question. I was giving you an example of what. A lot of people say in response to that. Oh, well, people are yeah. just too inherently scared of of nuclear energy. I mean, it really does suck too because if we did the France style uh, of nuclear power, uh, the 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 nuclear waste, uh, the the dispo the disposal of nuclear uh, nuclear waste is ex exceedingly efficient, and it's a fucking it's it's great. Like the European style, the Europeans have nuclear energy down uh, pat one hundred percent. I think that would be the wave of the future. We'd stop shitting our pants every time we think about it. I mean, for crying out loud, there's fucking plane wrecks, you know, once every, like, what, six, seven years? And people still go out and plane the same day, too. But anyway, uh, yeah, uh, that uh, is systemic racism. I, 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 like, I hate to tell you this, yeah. and maybe this is pessimistic, too, but... You can't get rid of like something that's inherent in our our, our DNA. I, I I think it's both learned and, and sort of Wait. Uh, what we're talking. We're, we're not talking about racism. We're talking about systemic racism. Yeah, the, I I don't think that the, there's the any... systemic oppression of people. Yeah, I I don't think that there's a, a any way, shape, or form that we're going to ever be able to get rid of well, it that's because policy once again, driven. yeah, policy driven. It's also the bureaucracy again. Well, once again, we're mired in red tape. No one really wants to budge on it because, well, if we let this go through, then this will happen and blah, blah, blah. And people like you would be surprised at how many how much uh, it, how little it takes to get people to not care. 
you know, especially policy makers. And I, I just don't I, I don't see Joe Biden or the Biden administration as a whole ever actually uh, uh, tackling that. I think it's lip service, like because Obama said that he was going to conquer that and he did fucking nothing to do that. Uh, fucking Bill Clinton said that he did fucking nothing. Uh, Trump said that and he didn't really do anything either. But a lot more minority and not slash non-white people voted for him than than white males. Actually, that was the only demographic that was actually down for him. And I think the white male vote was the was the plum that he needed to be reelected. And uh, it, it really goes to show you. I think more people were just voting against Trump because they just didn't like Trump. I I don't think that that, that many Biden supporters who voted for Joe Biden. I think the majority of people were just voting against Trump. Oh, well, yeah. The, me included. Like Oh, re really? So that's that's what that that's what your uh your vote was all about. It was sort of a protest vote, a fuck yeah. you to No, Biden. well, no, but nobody nobody likes Biden. But I mean, the alternatives like works. Trump. Yeah. Oh, we got screwed over. Not like the DNC screwed us over. Not not putting Bernie up for the uh, for the primary. I do. I do like to. Say, I, I'll I'll say this, and I like seeing this, but I, I like seeing on Twitter. All right, so Biden's in. Can we officially uh, switch gears and turn against him till we get what we yes. fucking want? <laughs> yes. I'm I'm happy. God, I'm happy that we're. I'm seeing that. Uh, I mean that that's, that gives that's me a little bit really of really how most people feel. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm, I'm really happy that I see that, and I'm hoping that obstruction, uh, you know, I, I, I hope that we drag our feet collectively until we start seeing, like, real change, or at, at least, you know, uh, at least the way, uh, if, if, we get, if we get our healthcare system unfucked up, that would be Biden a great can step for the white. Trump cannot be budged. <laughs> mm, I, 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 well, you know what? I, I need to I need to wait and see before the I say yes or no. The democratic system can probably not be budged, not very easily. That, no, not at all. That would have that would take like probably like national violence or something to to budge oh, yeah. the democratic system. Yeah, well, I mean, people like AOC. I, I mean, it's a fresh it's it's a breath of fresh air to just not have the president be just like mask off, fascist and racist. It's he keeps he'll keep it secret, you know. Oh, uh, well, see, that's the thing I'm really more afraid of. I'm afraid of the skinhead donning a friggin' wig and, you know, winking at me, throwing a, a, a wrench in the proverbial, you know, clockworks, you know, in the gears. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm more afraid of that, the mask on types, than I've ever been on the mask off types. Or mask on, mask off types, blah blah blah. I'm kind of rambling here. Uh, we're at the well, hour we're thirteen. The mark. The world. I, I don't think on. I don't think we're the laughing stock of the world. I think everyone's sort of. We are. I I don't know. Like I'm seeing a lot more problems all over. Like, like the UK hasn't really said shit about American politics in years because they're kind of the getting ass fucked. The yeah, they're kind of getting ass fucked right now by a lot but of the problems. two laughing stocks of the world are the United States and the and. I'm it's not even the UK. It's it's uh because they're not united anymore. It's... Oh, like them, uh, everyone, like a uh, 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 Australia. I'll be all. I'm I'm glad for this though. I'm glad we're not fucking Australia, uh, Australia and New Zealand because that that those New governments, Zealand's great. Those governments that went full fash and have like locked down their citizens and their their citizens. New Zealand's going jail. great right now. No, they're they're doing terribly right now, especially with all the government. I have government plenty policies. of friends in New Zealand, especially with their government policies, and in Australia, it's even worse. I mean, it's getting fucking bad. Like it's getting. So I don't know absurd. how it's going in Australia, but it, I have it, I have a ton of friends in New Zealand, well, and and things are going great. Did you know that they fucking banned anime from Australia now? That like it, it's they think that it's all like child porn. They think it's kitty porn. Uh, anime. All of it. All Every of it. Anime. All of it. Every single fucking Everything's one. Everything's child porn if you try hard enough. <laughs> oh, God. And that's a lesson we can all agree on. All right. Well, tell you what, tell you what. We're at the hour 14 mark. Uh, Riley, would you like, do you have any final parting thoughts? Uh, uh, 
uh, do you have any parting thoughts uh, about Trump's legacy? What do you think it's going to be, or whatever have you? We did, it. we did it, boys. We saved America. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Fucking crack open a cold one, boys. We did it. Um, but yeah, I mean. I guess at the end of the day, fucking Trump, he was the president. I've always been, I've always been kind of on the boat, even though I'll like, I'll shit talk Trump occasionally. Like he was voted in by the American people. I respected him because he was the president and there was a large sect of the American people who agreed with him, but I just really didn't. And I'm really glad he's not the one who's controlling my country. All right. Uh, Robin, uh, final thoughts. Yeah, Trump sucked. <laughs> <laughs> it's real bad, man. Fuck Trump. Bunch of malarkey, I'll tell you. Malarkeys, I tell you, the malarkey. He sits there hooting and hollering all his racism. Oh, come on, man. Oh. <laughs> all right, all right. Quick question, though, for the both of you. What if Trump get all right? So, like, Trump, like, let's just assume that the election's not over and it's not going to the Supreme Court, and that's how Trump gets his second uh, uh, term there. Uh, uh, what 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 happens if like you know this is official? Uh, Biden gets presidency, blah blah blah, and then Trump runs in twenty twenty four and wins. What what then? Then we're back yeah, to that's, fucking that's the nightmare. again. <laughs> no, yeah, hopefully he'll he'll either be dead or in prison by then. <laughs> all right, all right, or, all right. or both if it, if it goes like it went for his friend uh, Mr. Epstein. Holy shit, I have one more I have one more joke. I was gonna make it earlier, but I totally slipped my mind. Alright, go ahead, go ahead. Okay, so I fucking I saw Chicago. something on Twitter. So oh yeah, that too. But I saw something on Twitter. Some like CNN source reported that Trump was quote feeling I don't know if it was real or fake, but somebody tweeted CNN source uh quotes that Trump is feeling down and can feel this slipping away. And I saw a fucking and somebody re- quote retweeted that with an image edit that's fucking Donald Trump's Twitter account with the profile picture back out blacked out and the bio is I hurt myself today to see if I still I, feel. Oh my god! Tag, that. Me. Tag me. Tag me in that, please. I have to see that. <laughs> oh. I, yeah, I saw a Fox News article that said that Trump was feeling down after his golf game because people were shouting "loser, loser" at him. Ugh. I all right. To uh, yes, 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 yes. We're all we're all emo today. It is a sad day for a man. Feeling like Kaneki Ken. Well, I would like to thank the silent majority of all the dead people who voted for Biden. I would like oh to thank. God. I would like to thank the USPS uh, guy who was busted going to Canada with a ton of fucking ballots and uh, the people who were caught uh, burning Trump ballots. Uh, during the fucking counts and all of the uh, the navy and um, uh, 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 military ballots that were just found in a dumpster, I like to thank all those people. Uh, I I don't know what's going to happen in the first ninety days. I think like a lot of the stuff that he says is lip service to the base, and I I, I don't quite believe him. But the you know actions speak louder than words, and we're going to find out after january 21st what the future holds for america uh so riley where oh, oh he's gone oh no he's back oh well i'd like to thank bigfoot the abominable snowman oh, i'd I th- like to thank i was about to say king of the monster trucks but you know you beat me to it <laughs> okay yeah, yeah who like would to, you like to thank i'd like to thank Robin? uh the the people who faked the moon landing oh my uh, god what are some other conspiracy theories i can thank uh, I'd like I'd to like thank, to thank uh, George Bush, who uh, did 9-11. Uh, he... <laughs> yep. Take that, Twin Towers! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Riley, is there anyone that you would like to thank? I'd like to thank all of all the, the young cryptids. people who went out and voted. I would like to thank all of the all of the burning voters. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> the ha- have- Lord of Fire. There was a there was a comic strip that I shared a couple of days ago. It was a it was a strip of the OK Boomer Girl 
And it says, okay, Boomer, you know, when she's doing that that one pose in the uh, the video. Yeah. And then it's the, okay, Boomer, her head down with her Biden, sh- with her, with, with her fucking, uh, 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 Bernie Sanders shirt still on and she's going to vote for fucking Joe. That that's what I think like most of the fucking vo- young voters felt was okay, boomer. I was like, dude, I feel bad for them. I, I feel bad for I, I genuinely feel bad for any and all uh Bernie Sanders supporters because I personally think that it should be Sanders up on that fucking stage. And not yeah, fucking this Joe election Biden. was bittersweet because it was fucking Joe Biden. I, I, if Bernie won the nom and Bernie won, I'd be fucking partying right now. Dude, it, it, Biden, it, I'm just kind of like, yeah, good, Trump's gone. And we would have had a better back and fucking forth and actually gotten to really talk about like what America really meant to a lot of fucking people. And it would have pissed off the establishment. You know, I think Bernie would have done for the Democrats what Trump did for the Republicans. That's what I think that he would have done. Oh boy, I hope not. Well, I mean, I well, I, I don't like the Republicans anyway, but God, they need to boot up their ass. Like Mark Rubio needs to fucking go. Mitch McConnell needs to fucking go. Ugh. I mean, there's the just all a bunch of bastards. Every single Lindsey fucking Graham. Oh, uh, Lindsey Lindsey Graham needs to fucking go. He ain't worth a shit. <clears throat> but anyway. Riley, tell us where they can find you, bro. All right. They can find me on Twitter at Riley Tweets. They can find me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Riley Streams, where I'm playing some Final Fantasy VII, and I'm quickly approaching the end of Kingdom Hearts. Oh, nice, I nice. Just gotta, I just got to strap down and do a fucking four-hour grinding stream to get high enough level to beat the game. <laughs> oh, nice, nice, nice. Where are you at in Final Fantasy VII? Final Fantasy Seven. I just got. Um, I don't really. I don't. I'm trying to remember the last like actual story thing that happened. I got a fucking chocobo. I went into a town. I fought a big strange fish boss. Oh, you're out of Midgar, then I take it. Oh yeah, I'm definitely out of Midgar. Oh, nice, 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 dude. That was my favorite part of the fucking game. Like that. Uh, uh Final Fantasy Seven has like the best opening and like a uh, first act in like almost a- any video game the only one that rivals it i think is well the only two i think that rival it are far cry 3 and uh uh fucking uh, uh assassin's creed bloodlines because that was fucking that was beautiful man that was awesome yep uh, w- uh i'm sorry i kind of like, interrupted yeah. you where else what, what else no you problem. got no problem uh there's my youtube channel riley brooks Find some videos there. I do Let's Plays. I do other shit. Uh, the Riley and Friends show is up there. I only did one episode of that. I remember I remember very quickly, Mo joined me for the September episode, and I was like, I'm going to make this show once a month, and then I didn't make an October episode. <laughs> <laughs> but um, anyway, there's the... Uh, fuck. Oh, uh, Pixels, Polygons, and Fun is available on like fucking every podcast platform in history. The new game podcast been going for fucking over a hundred episodes. A lot of shit there. Nice. There's Pokemon Variety Hour, my Pokemon podcast that I run with the Pixels gang. That's on Anchor.fm slash PBH, along with being able to be found on Spotify, Stitcher, and Apple Podcasts. There's uh fucking the Riley Podcast Mega Feed, which is where I put all of my like individual like stuff that I run, like Largest Issue in the Galaxy and the Riley Neon Movie Review Podcast. That's at anchor.fm slash uh, Riley Megafeed or on those same three platforms I mentioned earlier. Nice, nice, nice. Huh. All right, uh, Robin, where can they find you? Uh, before I go, I'd like to thank one more uh, group of people here. Oh, okay, I go thank ahead. the libertarians who took votes away from <laughs> Donald Trump and Dude. won it for him in several states. So yeah, thank and you, libertarians. Thank you, finally, Joe voters. Finally, for, for once... For once from the last several fucking elections, for once someone can say that with at least a shred of credibility that those fucking libertarians are the third parties, man. They fucking got us because, like, uh, if if Joe Jorgensen wasn't in a few of those fucking swing states or even was it all of them, 
if they weren't in the in the swing it's in a states, significant portion yeah yeah if they if she wasn't in those swing states i think uh, uh I, I think that trump would have won those states and this election would be going a lot more differently i believe yeah cuz historically libertarians tend to vote republican if they displease their libertarian candidate <laughs> All right, so where can they find so, you? Yeah, uh, Inside Alloy. You just, just look that up. That's on places, Twitter, Twitch. <laughs> I, still, um, I, still can... have yet to call, I still have yet to call into a Robin stream. I really do have to rectify that very soon. So what do you want to play? I don't know. What do you play? I'm going to play something cerebral. Something, something brain-inducing. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, we'll find we'll find something fun. Maybe All we can right. let's play a puzzle game together. That would be a lot of Hell fun. Yeah. I like to see that. All right, and uh, you can find me Mo Diggity at uh, Mo Diggity forty two at uh, YouTube at uh, Parlor at uh, Bit Shoot or you know it's fucking here. You know what? Give me a second. Cetera, cetera. I, yeah, you can find me at a lot of places. If you just go to, if you go to Twitter dot com for gets around. Oh yeah, I get around. Yeah, I heard your friend made a Twitter. What's the? Yeah, how do we find you, your friend? You check my friend's Twitter out at Moside Gaming Forty Two. Uh, they're over there, just chilling, uh, hawking my shit, and I appreciate them. They got a, they got an Alphonse from Animal Farm. Uh, with bloodshot red eyes, stoned as fuck. Cause that's kind of how exactly how that character is. I fucking swear to God, man. Like, dude, he's there's there's one uh, screenshot that I took of Alphonse, and uh, he was like, "So I put this bucket over my head, and then when I wake up, I'm in Tomorrowland." I was like, "Dude, do you fucking suffocate yourself until you pass out and wake up the next day?" Because he gets up at like 1 or 2 o'clock, man, and he's fucked up and he doesn't remember what he's talking about. Anyway, yeah, you can find me, MoDiggity42, at, uh, you know, at, at a fucking, what, what, what is this again? YouTube.com and Instagram.com and uh, I believe even uh, uh, at Parlor, which I'll probably be using a little bit more. You can go to anchor.fm, the MoCast, uh, and uh, twitch.tv slash mo diggity. That's pretty much me and uh, and all that stuff. And I'm really glad. Hey, mo, that you did could... you ever download that VOD from the uh, from the New Vegas stream you did where uh, me, you, and Camel were talking? Because I think that was, there was some really good shit in that. I think so. I think I did. I'll have to check it out. Yeah, mo diggity at uh, bitshoot. Yeah, twitch.tv slash mo diggity and bitshoot.com. Mo diggity. Like I feel like that was so good that we could probably just like literally take the audio from that VOD and be like Mo Cast bonus episode. Oh god. Yeah, I'll have to fucking check that out. Alright, everyone. Thanks for coming out. I really do appreciate it. And and uh this is probably one of my favorite episodes I think we've done in a while. Uh, like I I think we we've done besides the last one. This was a lot of fun. This is a lot less painless uh, like I thought, because I, I thought that we are going to be arguing a lot, and so I'm glad that uh, we're doing what Joe Biden said, and you know we're just coming together and healing and divisions and blah blah. And yeah, you, you know see, the thing. Me and, me and Robin aren't bitchy Twitter liberals who want to block everyone who says Trump isn't bad. Oh well, thank God I'm not that guy because I couldn't imagine being a bitchy Twitter liberal. <laughs> who blocked Cameron Clark again? Who was that? I don't know, man. Oh, I don't so, know who was that. Some douchebag. You know, I'm sure, but he's <laughs> he's not important. Anyway, check you later, everyone. Stay safe. Ta ta. Bye. <laughs> Bye.